So today I've deleted the top 100 players in MLB The Show to see how this would cause chaos on the league. That's right, no Otani, no Judge, no Tatis, Soto, Trout, whatever the name is, those top 100 players in the league, gone. So here we go, you can see things have changed a little bit. Just look at the ranks of the teams. You've got like the Pirates, a top 15 team, the Cardinals down to 20th, the Rockies a top 10, the Dodgers 26th, Padres are the worst team in baseball. What other crazy things? The Red Sox are the best team in baseball. The Yankees down to 23rd. Let's see, any other craziness that is a uh, have The Tigers are top three. The Royals are top five. The Twins are second. Wow, the Astros are 27th. The Angels are sixth. The Athletics are a top 10 team in baseball, which is crazy to think about. So as you can see, taking away some of the best players in the league, it's gonna change some things up. So with that being said, let's pick a team. Boom, we are going to be the Guardians, but not really. I just wanna see what craziness happens when we take away these top players. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how I did this because I didn't just take the top 100 rated players in the league because of the way that overalls are weighted differently based on position. So there are some players that just have higher ratings just because of that's the way it works with that position. So sometimes second basemen are a little bit higher rated than others. So I tried to go with like the top 100 players based off the 2022 season. So there we go. That, that was kind of what I did. So again, I could have easily swapped a player with a different player, but I tried to I tried to do it the best that I could. So here we go, top 100, boom. And I didn't want to go off of MLB's 2022 list because that was so outdated. It was from April of last year, almost a year from now. And I wanted to test out this video now. So let's do it. Let's see if I can remember every single player that I deleted from this. Cedric Mullins and Adley are the two players from the Orioles. The only one from the Red Sox was Devers. From the Yankees, we have three pitchers. We have Rodon, we have Cole, and we have Nestor. And then it was Rizzo and Judge, I believe, were the only position players that I took out, which I could have potentially took out Glaber as well, but there are some other names that it, it was just an easy, there's, like I said, you could easily swap out a couple of these names as I go through that. So with the Rays, I went McClanahan, Lau, and Wander. For the Blue Jays, I went... Ooh, who did I go? We went Gosman and Manoa, and then we had Bichette, Chapman, Vladdy, and Kirk. Those were the names that I went with for the Blue Jays. The White Sox, we had Cease, Robert, and Tim Anderson. For the Guardians, it was Bieber, uh, Class A. Who else? Andres Jimenez, and the last one for the Guardians, J Ramp, the most obvious one, right? Nobody for the Tigers, nobody for the Royals, but I was close with going for Salvi or Bobby Witt. I think Salvi, eh, Bobby Witt, maybe towards the end, like maybe like in the, the high 90s, if we want to get, you know, technical about it. But then with the Twins, I had Buxton, I had Correa. Those were the only two for the twins. I could have potentially gone with another player, but again, we I, I had I had to pick smart. We have Javier, we have Valdez, and then we have Bregman, Altuve, Tucker, Jordan, Abreu, and I'm missing one more position. Who am I missing? I Jeremy Pena. Boom. There we go. Got it with the uh, the Astros. We have Trout and Otani for the Angels. Nobody for the Athletics. The Mariners, we had Luis Castillo, Julio Rodriguez, and Ty France. For the Rangers, we had DeGrom, Steger, Semyon, and Nathaniel Lowe. Lo very underrated first baseman. All right, with the Braves. All right, we've got Freed and... Freed and who is the other pitcher that I got rid of for the Braves? Strider. And then you have Acuna, Olsen, Sean Murphy, Ozzy Albies, Austin Riley, and Michael Harris, all for the Braves there. Those are a lot of players that the Braves lost, hence why they dropped so far in the ratings. For the Marlins, Alcantara, potentially some other names there too. Uh, oh boy, the Mets. All right, what do we have for the Mets? We've got Scherzer, Verlander, Edwin Diaz. Then you've got Starling Marte, Nimmo, Big Meat Pete, Lindor, and Jeff McNeil, boom, got it. Uh, the Phillies, another team that lost a lot of players. Nola Wheeler, Harper, Schwarber, Reese Hoskins, JT Ryle Muto, Trey Turner. Was that all of them? Did I just name them all? Hold on. Uh, Nola Wheeler, Harper, Schwarber, Real Muto, Hoskins, Turner, boom, got it. Nobody from the Nationals, sorry, Nationals fans. The Cubs, it was Swanson, Hap, and Horner. Reds, nobody. Yikes. Uh, Brewers, you had Woodruff, Devin Williams, and Corbin Burns, along with Willie Adamas. If we go to the Pirates, I just went with Brian Reynolds, potentially Kim Brian Hayes, but you know what? I just went with the one from the Pirates. 
for the Cardinals. We have Helsley, and then you go with Contreras, Edmund, Goldschmidt, and Arenado. Again, Cardinals, kind of a nasty team. Could have maybe snuck in another player or two. Diamondbacks, we have Ketel Marte, Zach Gallen, Rockies, just Chris Bryant. The Dodgers, you have Bueller, Urias, and Kershaw. Bueller was a tough one to throw in there because I know he's not healthy. Debate me in the comments. It's fine. And then you have Muncie, Freeman, Betts, and Will Smith. So that's all the Dodgers. The Padres, we've got Darvish, Musgrove, and Hayter. Then you've got Tatis, Soto, Bogarts, Machado, and Jake Cronenworth. That's a lot of players you lose in your, your starting lineup and rotation. And then with the Giants, we have Logan Webb and then Jack Peterson and Mitch. Those are the top 100. Again, like I said, you could have easily swapped out one player for another, especially when you get towards like the closer to 100 range. But I feel like there are some pretty obvious ones that need to be on this list and also some that, you know, you could have squeaked in for sure. You know, there's definitely some very talented players in baseball and naming a top 100, especially once you get towards the back end, towards the 100 range. I feel like it's a pretty tough, pretty tough uh, thing to kind of rank all those players there. So again, here's some of the teams. This is kind of what we're working with right here. Again, there's some really talented players still left in the league, and I'm kind of interested to see who's going to pop off, who's going to be really bad, and also just how this kind of changed the landscape of baseball now that there are so many players missing the top 100 players in the league so let's see how this goes um i'm interested i, I think i think it's gonna be it's gonna be weird like somehow the athletics are one of the best teams in the league but i don't i don't think they're gonna do well even though they were ranked what seventh i don't think that's possible so let's sim a couple seasons let's see what free agency happens let's see what kind of trades happen and let's see what happens so we're looking at the first all-star weekend with this type of with this league set up let's see what we've got here pablo lopez tyler anderson chris bassett reed detmers and kenta maeda are your al starting pitchers reliever Daniel de los santos really paul seawald clay holmes some pretty decent relievers still for sure and then if we look at the catcher we got trevino mejia and garver first base josh bell mount castle story and jed lowry at 63 overall having quite the year actually look at those numbers that's that's pretty impressive. LeMayhew, Josh Smith, as well as Yoan Moncada. We've got shortstop of Baez, Bobby Wood Jr., and Mauricio Dubon. And then Yoshida, Ben Attendi, Akil Badu, and Brad Miller, Miles Straw, and Taylor Ward, and Stan are your uh, AL all-stars. Next up, we've got Junis. Jake Junis, Quintana, Strasburg, Syndergaard, and Gonsolin. Relievers. And in, uh, when Tyler Clippard's throwing a 1 2 8 ERA, you know things are going a little crazy. Bullpen's looking kind of crazy too. William Contreras is the best catcher there. Okay. Okay. Christian Walker, Mike, Mike Ford, Mike Ford's in the league. Jonathan India, Nolan Gorman. You've got Connor, Joe, Brendan Donovan, Wisdom, and Hayes. Iglesias and O'Neill Cruz. Winker, Dickerson, Chisholm in center field. And then right field, a couple different options. A 20 home run season for Nelson Cruz so far. Okay. All righty. So let's finish off the season and see what happens for season one. All right. So the season's over. The current playoff situation looks like the White Sox and the Blue Jays. The Yankees and the Angels made the wild card. And the Seattle Mariners hold the division for the West. You've got the Cardinals versus the Giants. Giants, the Diamondbacks versus the Dodgers, and then the Mets. Okay, so a couple new teams, but realistically not much change. And when you take a look at the, honestly, maybe the Ray, obviously the Rays would need to swap with the Red Sox, but doesn't look too different there. Guardians need to move up a little bit, but again, it doesn't look too different. Rangers, okay, and the Astros being that low. Okay, so this one, this one's a little, a little mixed up for sure. Uh, the East, the Marlins being up there. The Nationals are still the worst. The Cubs are the worst in the Central. Okay. The Cardinals, the Reds. Reds were decent. And then you've got the Padres towards the bottom in the West as well. So a couple couple shakes up, shake ups. We've got league leaders here. Straw hit 317. Brennan Donovan hit 303. Luke Voigt hit 290. Hits 188 for Corey Dickerson and 202 for Miles Straw. Miles Straw is probably out here looking like Ichiro with 34 stolen bases, OPS close to 900. Miles Straw, just, just give him the batting title already. Good Lord. 52 doubles, by the way. 45 for Azokar on the other side of the league. 11 for O'Neill in terms of triple. Miles Straw had nine home runs, 40 for Taylor Ward, and 39 for Nelson Cruz. Okay. Interesting. What do we got for an award winner? Gold glove, 
and Silver Slugger. Taylor Ward is your MVP, along with Nelson Cruz. I mean, all right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Flaherty is the Cy Young winner, along with Pablo Lopez. And then the batting title went to Straw and Brendan Donovan. Relief of the year goes to Giovanni Gallegos, along with Paul Suwald. And then Masataka Yoshida, as well as Reese Nur is a uh, rookie of the year. Okay. Really? 31 games, 18 and 6 record. I mean, that's a that's a good season right there. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. Postseason baseball. Here we come. What is going to happen with the team? Teams, I should say. So the Blue Jays versus the Yankees. And then we've got the Giants versus the Dodgers. The Giants advance. And it's going to be the Yankees versus the Giants. So let's go to the let's go to the Yankees so we can kind of see what the, the outcome is going to be. So currently 1-0 to the Yankees, 2-0 to the Yankees. Two to one, two to two, three to two, and it comes down to game six. It's gonna be the Yankees winning the World Series. Who is the MVP? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We know that that's not happening. All right, let's get to the offseason. Let's see what, what teams make some moves. Okay, I didn't get a single notification. Uh, not even a big trade, which I thought was a little strange. So we're going straight into the next season. All right, sure. So we've got the next all-star vote and um, it's pretty interesting. Zach Plesak, Lopez. I mean, some names I would expect for sure on the other side of the league. Again, names I would expect if we're getting rid of like everybody else in the league. Will Crow is there. Okay. What else we got? Any other surprise names? AJ Puck, even though he was, he was okay last year in real life. Bullpen. Okay. All right. William Contreras Diaz from the Rockies. Really? And Narvaez. Okay. Interesting. Okay, not, nothing too crazy there. What else we got? Arise with the Yankees, by the way. When did that happen? Last year. He got traded to the Yankees last year. Huh. Naylor, you got Mountcastle and Dermis Garcia for the Athletics. Christian Walker, Crone, and Yepes for the Cardinals. Segura, Madrigal. If Madrigal's making the All-Star game, you know something's bad. Lopez and Wong, and then third base, Connor Joe. Back-to-back All-Star games, by the way, for him. Yandy Diaz, if he could just get some elevation on the ball, he is going to kill it. He's going to kill it. The dude will hit like 40 home runs. It's insane. He just hits grounders. That's like all he hits. Uh, Yandy Diaz, though, good ball player. Good ball player. Uh, was traded to the Blue Jays last year and is, is, is good. Shortstop, Baez and Iglesias. Kim, Bryson Stott, outfield. Any Willie Castro? Willie Castro, really? Jake Fraley is making it. Gamble with the Dodgers, uh, just absolutely insane. Unbelievable. Season two in the books. And what do we have here? So Zach Plesak is just the best pitcher in baseball, it looks like. Same thing with Josh Naylor offensively. Urshela leads the league for batting average. Ben Gamble hit 325 on the other side of the league. Good Lord, almost a 400 on base percentage. That is insane. Hits went to a rise and JD Martinez this season. Doubles went to Jonathan India, tied with Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Isaiah Kiner Falefa is the best baseball player in the league, which is crazy. I lied. I looked at his numbers. He was just hitting, just hitting doubles. That was that was all he did. I lied. Bobby Wood Jr. though was he good? Honestly, not bad. Not bad. Bobby Wood Jr. is about to tear apart the league. I have I have a good feeling about that. Bader with 12 triples. Morel with nine. 37 home runs for Miguel Sano. Okay, so this is a guy who should not be doing those kind of numbers. Not, not even close. And then Stanton with 39 home runs as well. RBIs went to Eloy and Sano. And then awards. Is it delivery man of the year goes to James Karinchak and Josh Naylor. Eloy is your MVP. Miguel Sano is as well. Oh boy. Two big boys that I would not expect to win MVP anytime soon. Cy Young goes to Gonsolin and Nick Pavetta. Harold Ramirez is your batting title winner, even though he is currently in AAA. So there's that. Ben Gamble on the other side. Hoyer, Karen Chak, relievers of the year. Rookie of the year, Colson Montgomery, who's actually a White Sox prospect. So it looks like he got traded. And Brandon Davis, who also seems to have gotten traded. All right, sure. Postseason baseball, Cubs and the Braves. And then San Francisco is waiting to take on the Dodgers or the Diamondbacks. And then the Angels versus the Guardians. And the Yankees are taking on the Blue Jays or the Red Sox. So here we go. What do we have here? We are going to have a matchup of the Angels versus the Giants. All right. Will Trout win a World Series? Not two to two. Three to two for the Giants. Game seven. 
and it is an Angels World Series. And Trout isn't going to win a World Series because he's not on the team. Maybe he's on the coaching staff. Maybe, maybe that's what happened. I forced them to retire. He's on the coaching staff with Otani. So ignore the fact that I said Trout's going to win a World Series because he's not a player on the team. He's just a coach. Now, uh, Urshela is your MVP. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's do, let's do one more season. I feel like that's good. All right. So the last all-star we're going to look at or all-star vote that we're going to look at and Tyler Maley. Okay. Soroka. Senzatella. What? Senzatella. Okay. Really? Senzatella is in the list or is, is an all-star, I should say. Garrett Stubbs is making an all-star appearance along with so Tyler Soderstrom and Sam Huff. You got Walsh. First baseman. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. Int okay. Okay. 237. Not really what you want to see for the all-star. Tony Kemp. Tony Kemp and Shed Long Jr. What a group of second basemen going on here. Adam Frazier, Kevin Biggio. Good Lord. Man, this is this is an interesting group of uh, all stars. E guy Rosario's hitting 284, huh? Yeah, I, uh, okay, crazy. Ken Schroeder, okay, yeah, sure, why not? Willie Calhoun's an all star. Jaron Kendall's an all star. Wilmer Defoe, along with let's see, yeah, Sam Hilliard's a is an all star. You know, you know, you know, the league is all sorts of messed up when those guys are making the all star game. So here we are, final push for the postseason. Who, oh, I think I, I'm seeing all these trades happen. Francisco Alvarez is getting sent to the Guardians. I saw Jonathan India getting traded. Giovanni Gallego. Nope. Giovanni Gallegos is getting traded to the Dodgers. All right, here we go. I, I want to see someone eclipse 50 home runs. I want to see it. I have faith. Someone's going to do it. All right, so season is over. Playoff picture. We've got Pittsburgh Pirates making the postseason. That's really the only big change compared to normal. So not player rankings, but stats standings i want to look at standings that's what i was looking for so the tigers and the royals never really did much you know kind of honestly did it really change much like the, yes the rangers were pretty bad the astros were pretty bad so that's kind of the two teams that stand out to me as like wow that that really changed what happened there the mets were like meh the nationals were still bad the cubs not making the postseason isn't too shocking right you know I mean, they did they did for one season, but like even then the Pirates making the postseason is kind of impressive. Same thing with the Diamondbacks. But I feel like for the most part, it really didn't alter things too much. You know what I mean? Yoshida, best batting average. James Outman, also the best batting average in the league. Uh, Harold Castro, really? Brandon Marsh, you got Lugo Voigt. I can also see some trades have occurred as well. You got, uh, not you got Eddie Rosario. You got Rosario is a different player. What else we got here? Hits, O'Neill Cruz, 170, 205 for Yoshida. Yoshida is just the man, huh? 400 on base percentage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good in this situation. Let's see what else we got here. Did, did that just say he had, Espinal had 700 at-bats? Impressive. And was not good. Was not good for any of them. None. Doubles, 48 and 47 for Cruz. Isaiah kiner Falefa is just the doubles king, apparently. Triples, James Outman had 11 and Bobby Witt had 10. Not a bad season. Not a bad season at all for Bobby Witt Jr. 40 home runs for Stanton and 34 for Suzuki. Really? That is it? That is it. Gavin Sheets had 100 RBIs. A couple others had 100 as well on the American League side. That's, that's crazy that there weren't that many... Um, home runs hit i feel like there would have been a lot more but maybe maybe pitchers were just kind of nasty trying and getting 60 saves is pretty impressive era in the low twos there say oh wow the american league was kind of nasty huh with the pitching huh yeah there's some good pitchers I, pitching just took over it seems like awards what do we have here stan is your mvp tyler maley is second in mvp voting so that just kind of shows how important pitching was say suzuki is your mvp I mean, it's not a bad season at all, but I'm kind of expecting like 40 plus home runs. I'm used to Tatis hitting like 50 with like a 300 average, 400 on base percentage, and a thousand OPS. Soroka and Tyler Maley are your Cy Young winners. Yoshida and Outman are the batting title winners. Trinan and Josh Taylor, Brett Beatty with the. There's been too many trades. What is going on here? And then Jaron Kendall with the Phillies. So there it is. Let's see what happens. Postseason time. What do we have here? Guardians are facing the Twins and they are eliminated. So the World Series is going to be the Twins and the Braves. The Braves just find a way, huh? The Braves just find a way. So let's go to the Braves 
and let's see what happens for them. They are one game away from a World Series, and they end up choking it. The Twins are the World Series winning team. Jesus Aguilar is the World Series MVP, along with Drew Waters being the postseason MVP, and Joey Gallo winning the postseason MVP. So let's quickly take a little tour around the league and see who's who's kind of a good team. The Guardians are kind of nasty. Tigers are bad. Tigers are really bad. We've got the Royals who uh, top four. I'm like, ooh, that's kind of nice. But then you look at the rest of the team. No, Salvi being a 90 on the bench is kind of crazy. Twins, not bad. I, I think the pitching is what's going to carry them. Oh, yeah, their pitching's gross. Houston looks really bad. Really bad. The Angels, Angels are kind of nice. Kind of nice. Athletics aren't that good. Not even close to being good. They, they have Jaron. Hold on. Jared Kalnick. I was going to say Jaron Kendall's on the Phillies from what we've seen. Eh, I don't really like the Mariners. That looks pretty bad. The Rangers don't look that great either. The Braves somehow. Brian Anderson, Sano, Gallo, Hilliard, you know, like Calhoun's usually good in franchise. Their pitching is kind of nasty. Like, that, it's just not fair. The Braves are just too good at putting a team together. The Marlins, not too bad. Honestly, that's a pretty solid team. The Mets look pretty atrocious. The Phillies look not that great, but like kind of good for franchise. It's a weird mix. Nationals are bad. Cubs don't look good at all. We've got the Reds who, meh. Uh, <laughs> the Brewers don't look that great either. Pirates though. Pirates might be sneaky good. They might be good in a couple years. Cardinals have an okay team. Nothing too crazy there. The Diamondbacks. I mean, when you got Harold Castro popping off with a very generic Harold Castro looking face, that's not Harold Castro. Also, how how did how did the game break where players are just getting generic faces now? What happened that the game was just like, yeah, we don't we don't have player faces no more. What what changed there? What happened? And I'm still looking at these teams and I'm not impressed by a lot of them. They look pretty bad. They look pretty bad. But that makes sense. All the good players are gone. And it was interesting to see how this all played out. I didn't even look at all the teams. We gotta, we gotta finish that. What, what is wrong with me? I didn't even look at all the teams. The Blue Jays, they've got Biggio, who's a 90 overall. When you've got a 90 overall, and that's the highest rated in the league, I think that says a lot about uh, the team. So, what I want to do? Let's get to the offseason because I want to see who is the highest rated player in the league currently. Can I do that? I can. Perfect. It is. Jack Flaherty at 95 overall, followed by Key Brian Hayes, Jose Barrios, Trevor Rogers, really, Gilbert, Lance McCullers, Bobby Witt Jr., Iglesias. Man, interesting names. Interesting names for sure. Hmm. Okay. It's weird to see like no Trout, no Soto, no Tatis, no Bogarts, no Trey Turner, names like that. And it's just like a lot of pitchers and a lot of just random players. Um, but it's also interesting to see like a lot of players are actually progressing pretty quickly. And I would assume that just has to do with the fact that, you know, there's just no other competition that's better than them. So there it is. I've deleted the top 100 players in baseball. And that's what happened. Like I said, it's just a little experiment. If you guys have any more experiments or crazy ideas that you want to see for a video, let me know down below. If you're new here, consider hitting subscribe. And of course, in the comment section, oh, I've already said that. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. That's about it. I recommend this video right here. I definitely think you will enjoy it. But that's about it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.